It is a welterweight matchup between Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz. All right, get out your 209 tattoos, folks. Here he is, the one. Superstars in mixed martial arts today. How good is this? Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. The question beckons, though, is will this fight look different than the previous two? Well, it has to if you're Nate Diaz. Oh. He's got him hurt here. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, straight right. Ooh. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, McGregor's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Massive head kick. Oh! Switching stances here. Misses with the jab. McGregor advances and lands flush with the left hand. Lands that left hand. He's always looking to land that strike, and he does it again in this big, big kick. Conor McGregor gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Nice punch there by Conor. Oh, that was a big takedown. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Back to the feet now. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Going orthodox now. Beautiful kick. So just over 20 total strikes. It found the mark for Conor McGregor. Well, the strike lands there, but doesn't do a ton of damage because the fighter's cooked. Yeah, he's done. He's thrown everything with, it, with absolute power. And now it does not matter how many times you jam on that X button. It will not do any damage. Big head kick lands. Oh, big right hand, yes. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Effective punch there by Diaz. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Round two, Conor McGregor you ready versus Nate ready. Diaz. Well, now if you're the opponent, you really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. Beautiful punch. And he switches his stance yet again. Back southpaw now. Oh, collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plus. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Diaz. Nice stick with the right hand. McGregor gets hit with a kick. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. His head's 
boxing. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. So 33 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. And just 42% accuracy in terms of the land rate against Nate Diaz. So, oh! Oh, he might be out. He's got him hurt here. Trying to stay in this fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. In terms of Conor McGregor's frame, at lightweight or at featherweight, he really uses his length well. He has an outstanding reach. More often than not, he's going to have a reach advantage over the opposition, and he is taking advantage here tonight. Left hand punch with the clinch. Oh, nice ankle pick to get the fight back to the canvas. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times in the face. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Good shot there to land the takedown. Nice shot by Diaz. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. And he is back up to his feet. Oh, over the top. This fight's going to be over. This what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay in court. He mixed it up. He went very bad. Whoa! He's got him hurt here. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Close guard. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, feet on the hips here. Submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your school. Your Ready. Here we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. Well, we call on the fight stats here. These numbers unofficial, but 61 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. And landing with 43% accuracy tonight against Nate Diaz. just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. So aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official